Hey, what's going on everybody? So I just got out of volunteering and I got some new pickups, check them out. All right, so this week isn't gonna be about the quantity as much as it is the quality. So I really hope that you like this next one I'm about to show you. But I'm not gonna show you the best comic, right? Cause you gotta see the warm up. you know what I mean? When you go to see a rock band, what do you see first? You always see the worst band, right? So let me show you the lower level comic. All right, so, all right, so. First up, Silk issue four, and uh, man, I love me some Silk. Now I will say, you know, whoever this artist is, who is she? Who is he? Thompson Fish Herring, you guys, no good, no bueno, no bueno. You guys probably heard me before, look at this art, man. Silk is such a beauty, she's such a cutie, man, but the way that this artist is doing her is terrible. Now, you're probably thinking, well, why don't you just ditch the comic, DJ? Well, I haven't ditched the comic because I really love Silk, the character, and they're switching up the artist supposedly after the sixth issue. This is number four. So since I love the old artist so much, man, and I love Silk and I love Spider-Man, I'm just hooked still. Um, I just want to keep getting the story, you know? It's not really going anywhere yet, but uh, I mean, once they're going back to the old artwork, I'll be super happy with that just for the artwork alone. All right, and this next one, this is something that I told myself I would never get. Maybe you can guess it from the back, maybe not. But um, yeah, I told myself I wouldn't get this comic. I didn't put it on my top 10 wish list at all for 2016, solely because it was gonna be too expensive and I knew the hype was too real. And that should have been a really big hint for you. So it's no other than New Mutants 98, CGC graded 9.6. Now, why did I get this? You're probably thinking. Well, I got this bad boy for I think 435, 440 shipped. And uh, it may be a little expensive, it generally is. However, I mean, we're talking about an almost perfect first appearance of Deadpool. The main reason I didn't put it on my 2016 wish list is because I knew that people wanted $700, $800 for this particular grade, and the grade that I want is just too expensive. So I said, you know what, this is 0% chance I'm buying it. But for 440 bucks shipped, I mean, I really can't give that up. And it was really funny because I, I won it in an auction during the Super Bowl when nobody was watching. Like things were going down for much less or much lower than it normally would. So during the Super Bowl, man, while y'all watching that, I'm still watching my second monitor, but I'm out there sniping, baby, sniping. Boom. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing what I gotta do to get these comics. Now one thing to mention with this comic that I noticed that I've never seen on another comic and I don't know if the camera will be able to, to pick it up quite as well. I, I've taken some pictures. You probably can't see it, um, but there's like this extra, I, you probably can't see it, it's like right in there. It's all around every single edge. It's like this extra film that's holding it. It's very strange. It doesn't look unprofessionally graded, I mean unprofessionally done, and it's all sealed, but uh, it does worry me, and I've already contacted the, uh, the seller, so he's gonna let me know um, as soon as possible. And uh, I did end up getting a bunch of posters, and sorry you can't really see this right now, I don't have a third arm, unfortunately. But I did get a couple more, and I'm not gonna show you these because I want it to be a surprise. You can see my background. Um, it's, it's pretty cool, but uh, you know, I need something else there. But really the biggest problem is that Shield is making it super awkward for me to put posters around and everything, so it's really limiting what I can do. Maybe I'll move over um, on this wall for you guys. I haven't really figured that out just yet. But hey, um, I don't know if you noticed anything with my lighting. If you go back and look at some of my other videos, it's all yellowy and stuff. One of these bigger YouTubes who I'm not gonna mention just because I don't know if they want me to put the name out there. Um, he told me I should get white light and uh, oh my god, best idea ever. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but go back and look at some of my other videos and look at the yellow lighting and look at now and let me know, does it look cooler? So that's about it for the week. I mean, it wasn't a whole bunch of comics, but I really feel like that first appearance of Deadpool, that, that New Mutants 98 is phenomenal. And guess what? Who's gonna be seeing Deadpool tomorrow? <laughs> me, me, oh yeah. Yeah, boy. They say, supposedly, if everything goes right, it comes out Thursdays here um, around 10 o'clock. I was about to say 2200. You can see that I'm in the army. <laughs> if it does, um, expect two videos from me. One's gonna be the non-spoiler and the spoiler for everybody that can watch, you know, that way it's still cool. Even if you don't have the money, you can hear what I thought about the movie and we can talk about it spoiler-free or non, or spoiler -free. We can talk about it spoiler-free or non-spoiler-free, whatever you wanna hear. So thanks everybody, take care of yourself, and uh, hey, thanks for watching my video to the end. If you like this video, make sure to check out some of these other videos, and you can always hit me up on my social media. I'd love to hear from you offline on all types. Take care of yourself, everybody. Peace out.